Brian Adams. Oof. That's an interesting one. Very interesting. So I've I've seen Brian Adams. I like Brian Adams. Me too. He still releases yeah. music very consistently. Yeah, he uh, really does. It's not all the best. There's still some good songs here and there from him. I agree. But it, for me personally, I'd probably put him at C tier. Okay. Just because I don't he never had that huge like lasting breakthrough like he had the breakthrough like summer 69 and then his ballads but i don't think he ever had that like culture defining breakthrough that the bands above there on the list had Mm, mm, i could see that like don't get me wrong summer 69 is on the probably one of my favorite songs written yeah a great song it's catchy it has the whole vibe of summertime like it has such a happy vibe going i agree I just don't think that if you went up to someone on the street today, like a young kid, and like, you know who Brian Adams is? <laughs> the big, what? Like, Who's that? Is that Ed Sheeran's buddy? What's going yeah. on? Straight up. Um, you said you're putting it at C? I, w- I would put it at C. I don't think he's quite the level like Billy Joel, Boston, or Billy Idol. Okay. Um, I... I'm gonna put him at C as well, but I will say though, Reckless. The if you I don't know if you have you heard the whole album of Reckless by the way, the uh, one with the know. one with Summer '69 on it. It's got like Heaven, Run to You, uh, Kids Want to Rock, Somebody, a couple of a, a couple of deep tracks on it that are solid. I don't know. I don't know if you ever heard that whole album, but uh, that was just like I don't know if you knew but when those sing oh, there was like five or six singles that got released. He I, that album holds the record of like just on a side note. That album holds records of like one of the only other artists in history that to hold like five or six spots on the Hot 100 at once. And if you, the last person that did it before him was Michael Jackson with Thriller, a bunch of the songs up there. And I think, um, I believe it was Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA did that too. Mm. With like all the, the singles, that, like seven or eight singles they released off that album. Yeah. Each one held the spot. Like uh, that, that, So it's Tim uh springsteen and michael jackson did that i, I just i want to know if you know about that but like that's i that, that to me is very like shows how good that album was yeah i don't know if you ever heard it but it's really yeah, solid album. Yeah. No. his good stuff is great yes i just yes. think it's like he, the follow-through wasn't fully there no and like he released an album in 87 no one's ever heard it because there was nothing on it then 1991 came along uh, everything i do is good for you and then he went there but there you go so yeah um, a lot of bouts on that album truthfully but I mean, I, I would put him at no, C no, no, respectfully. No, of course. Actually, when I saw him, it was actually, believe it or not, with uh, Def Leppard. That was an yeah. interesting show. That's an interesting comedy. I, thought, I, saw him, I saw him with Billy Idol. So that, that kind of made more sense, but whatever. Um, but I put him at C. That's fine. 